Just in the audio, echo. Just in the audio, echo. There we go. Just in the audio, echo. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna make a quick low poly UFO inventory. So let's start with an axis and I'm gonna use geometry and everything's gonna be built in here. Uh yes see. Let's go this up so it's really big and if you click on the sphere in the content window you can get the size and you can change your scale here. I'm just gonna scale this down in the y axis. So we got a little saucer. There we go. Next, I want to parent a cylinder to this. So I'm going to drop an axis underneath the sphere so it's parented. And go to geometry. And let's look for cylinder. There we go. Rotate this 90 degrees. And click on the cylinder options. And we can get rid of some of the subsets, so we don't need the top, the bottom. And then I'm going to scale the Y, not the Y, sorry, the Z. There we go. Uh, I might scale this slightly bigger. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Hard to see right now, so I'm going to drop a color on the cylinder and let's make it a bluey green. So now I've got some Z shoes, so the geometry is cutting into it. So I'm just going to scale it slightly. Scale all. There we go. Maybe shift this up a little. There we go. So now if I rotate this, this follows. Okay, doesn't look very impressive right now, but we'll get there. Okay, so we've got our disc. All I'm going to do is change the angle and just move that start position and then bring this down so I can see it. Right, there we go. Now I've got a little slice of the cylinder. I'll do is get a spreader. So I'm going to go here, spread this. No, and increase the count and rotate this on the y axis. Now you can see I've got this like dashed, so I'll increase the count here and 10. There we go. So now if I rotate this on the y axis, you can see I've got this little light, so you can play around with the scaling or. You can make these smaller and you could increase the count. Another 14. There we go. Now, everything doesn't look right. Oh, yeah. So I need to put a hole in it. Bang. I just put a hole in there and that doesn't look correct. Okay, I'm going to scale that again. Of course, you can increase the tess tessellation on that to make it look smoother if you want. And tessellation, increase the segments. Yeah, it looks smoother. If I bring it down, you can see. Okay. I could also bring add the tessellation on the, on the sphere as well. To make it a bit more smoother, there we go. Something that should do. Now, I want to put a, at the base of this, I want to add a ring. So, I'm going to drop an axis underneath the spreader. I'm going to grab a circle and make sure this is at 90 and position this. Oh, where is it? Maybe minus 90. Yeah, minus 90. 
change the y position, something like that. Scale all. I'm gonna change, put a hold in there. There we go. Make this smaller. Bring it down. Make this hole thicker, maybe. Something like that. Okay, and I'll take this same color and drop it on. There. Okay. Okay, now I need a, a texture for this. So I've got a texture here. Oh, let me go for this here. And we go to. Yeah, you can use any texture you want for like and reflection or reflective material so texture so let's find where is it project where's my textures there it is okay i'm going to just take this chrome ball and i'm going to drop it on in front of this so I just drop this texture now you can see Looks already glossy. That's just the texture. It's not. There's no. Um, I haven't changed any of the properties yet. So I'm gonna change some of the properties on the texture. So I'll go here. Open it up. UV. So I'm just gonna to go to 3D mapping and serial. There we go. And you can change the scaling if you want. Um, you can try different textures. Get a different look. Um, I'm going to change the lighting model to Fong Black and then just make this a dark grey. There we go. Now I've got this reflective disc. Cool, right? <clears throat> very, very low poly. Very low. A oh, very simple geometry. There's no. I'm not. Using, I'm not modeling outside this there uh, if you want i could duplicate this again and put an axis in front of that i can make that the little uh cockpit right, and just make that smaller bring this up change the scale of this make this smaller bring it down the y position so now we've got the little egg shaped uh, thing. Let's make that silver. I'm just bringing the brightness up. There we go. Cool. Where is low poly? Next, what I want to do is I'm just going to reset the main rotation and position. And I want to parent a, a light to this. So I want to parent a point light. So here. And. For it to us to see it, we need a floor, we need a ground. So I'm just going to add another axis outside the group. So let's call this main one UFO. And then this one I'll call ground. Okay. I'll make this smaller so you can see that better. Ground UFO. And I need a plane. Just grab a rectangle. Scale it up. And rotate this 90. Get down in the Y. Now we can see that point light. Okay. So I've got the floor. I'm just going to extend the X a bit so it just goes off. And the Y so it's just a bit further out. Got some can travel travel along here. If I go up, you can see. So I want to make this look like this is projecting, like um, casting light from this. So then change this. Actually, I'm gonna shift select this and the color. This color. I'm gonna get color here. Color. Color value. Sorry. And they will all look at this one. So I'm going to take the fuse, specular, link it to that. These two, 
link it to that. Oh, there we go. So now all I have to do is change one color value. And it changes everything. There we go. Now I need to position the light so it looks a bit better. So let me get this close to the ground. This. So let's say that's the ground here. And the point light. That, that powerful. Let's see. Now pull up. There we go. So I'm going to change some of the options on the point light. So I'm going to change the range. There we go. Something like that. So now it's like it's lower, it gets bigger. Then cool. I like that. Okay, we're, we're getting we're getting somewhere. Um, we can see it tilted the light moves. I could also do is click on the point light and uh, turn the shadows on. Shadow map. Uh, we can tweak these settings later. So now we'll get our shadow. For us to see that shadow, we need an object on the ground. So I'm just gonna add another axis. Just drop it in here and a cube there we go so we've got a cube there I'm just gonna see it on the ground scale it up there we go cool. <laughs> You can see now we light the object and we get the shadow. Uh, so you can hear I've got some banding. So on the point light, if we go in the shadow options, and if I change the, is it the slope bias? There we go. I'll just increase that value. Smoothens that out. Yeah. So I'm getting it here. Let's check some of the settings. That looks better. Cool. We go left and right. Okay, exit. Cool. Now let's add some rotation to this. So we want this to continuously rotate or something. So I'm going to add another axis just in the inside of this. So go place it inside. I'm going to call this a roti. So the rotation. So I know that. And grab and remove a node. Take the Y rotation. And here I'm going to turn swing off, of course. And minimum 0, maximum 360. There we go. So now we've got it spinning like crazy. You can change the duration. You can slow this down, speed it up. So we're not we don't have to keyframe anything here, so you've got continuous movement. Um, and then here you can keep if you want, you can now add so you can animate this, and you still got the rotation here. So it's got it's got its main rotation, just makes it easier um, to animate. Okay, so now let's add some effects to this. So right now it doesn't look like it's um glowing much hey bloody oh you've got billions today nice so i'm gonna click on effects and glare Blim. boom and let's just boost this diameter you should see it. and the threshold we go, we go a bit of glow Go. Go up, go down. You can also click here on the in the scene hierarchy on your 3D layer, and you also have got bloom here if you want. You can add that extra bloom, bring that gain down or. 
So now if I want to change the color, say oh, it's red. No green, blue. There you go. Simple UFO. Can also go here in effects. Uh, is it here? Sorry, and here in your 3D layer, you can turn on the uh, lens flares as well if you want. I just use the default. Maybe turn down the amount slightly. Get yeah, this nice cool effect with the lens there as well. So you can see here. Um, and then, yeah, feel free to keyframe it and animate it. Perhaps you want, uh, so if, if you want to keyframe that, select. Select the main axis here, go a keyframe animation node, take the, the axes you want to animate in or along. Uh, I'm going to take this and the X axis and go into my keyframes along here. So, say maybe. down like this okay so my first keyframe will be here make sure you know what you're working in I'm going to choose seconds uh, okay so start position zero one second okay um, so animates in um, if you want you can add some a little bit yeah. rock a little there so it goes bam bam I'm smoothing this out after so and then should we have it pick try to pick up the box or something I don't know mm, you could have it pick up the box if you wanted or you can keyframe the color value. So let's maybe keyframe the color value. Yeah. So if you wanted to say, okay, flies in, color changes, then it flies off or something. And so I'm going to just use a HSV to color. I'm just going to take this to here. Because now I can keyframe this this value here bam bam so, I can, so red zero and what's this color 190 or yeah let's say one 172 okay so I'll just remember 172 I'll just drag the H to there First 172 there, changes to zero. That's like a frame bang, Just switches. Yep, the, the, the box spooked it, so it's gone to red alert. And now, just keyframe the position again and. We want it to zoom off so half a second Switch that from here to here is half a second because I'm going to between and bam let's have a press play boom okay that doesn't look amazing right now can do Go here and toolbox, and I go to logic. I've got math effects. I'm just going to use the oscillator. I like the oscillator a lot. I'm going to position this on the X. You can see why I like it. Oscillator on the um here X rotation X, and one more. Um, I'm just to open this. Just right click, and then you can. 
So math effects, right click it, and then you drag the one you want. Okay, cool. So now if I play it, it's going to be really bouncy. So, which is crazy, right? So, I just need to change some of these values. See, so under damping, I'm going to increase this to 12. Reset this. Press play. There we go. Now I want it to disappear into the distance. So I'm going to add some fog. So we'll go to my toolbox on the color materials. Fog. Place that in there. Turn it to black. And go to my animation. Okay. And then as it goes back into the distance, you can see it disappears into the fog. Uh, I've got the big logo in front of it. And you can tweak that fog distance, the start and the end server. Nope. Go here. Can't see it. You can only see the light. There we go. I'll show you. I'll change the value now. Now you can see it working. There we go. Cool. And that's the spoon off in the distance into the fog. Eh, short tutorial. Hey, Penny. I just did a quick short tutorial. Just did this little UFO. So yeah, what other effects we could add to it? Yeah, distortion. I see what this looks like. So the radio distortion. I'm gonna that way. I like that, but it's too powerful. There's the amount. I'll delete that. Of course, you can change the look of this as well. In the spreader. <clears throat> we'll change the start angle of these. I'll make. Oh, no, start angle, sorry. So now I've got this, so I'll change the angle. Can make them smaller. Can I them none? One big disc. There we go. <clears throat> it's fun to experiment and just do random stuff. Attempt to die. And save this. UFO. There we go. How long did that take me to model into? I don't know. About 20 minutes of messing around. Oh, and you can animate this. Oh, here you can see the banding still. No, let's try to fix that. There we go. Increase the slope. I like that the lens play on that. If you want to go one step further, you could add a beam, like a texture, make it look like it's um, a beam of light, so you can actually see the fog of the light. And um, well, let's just move this <coughs> cube so it does something a bit more interesting. I'm gonna get a second axis on that. I want it to rotate this point like this. Oh, 
This way. I'll just grab a mover. Mover. You can enter the values here, or you can go preset, rotate, <coughs> and then just increase the duration. So it's just slowly drifting. Okay. And wireframe frame on. See, geometry is not much. Be cool if there's splines that I could animate along. <coughs> um, so you could just say follow path. Um, we could make all kinds of cool things. But you could import the animation in as well. Thank you for watching. Very short tutorial. And um, I'm gonna go now and play some games. Thank you though. See you later.